The concept of limited nuclear war originated during the Cold War as a potential alternative to a full-scale nuclear war between the United States and the Soviet Union. The concept is based on a simple assumption. When facing a conventional defeat, a nuclear-armed state can use a limited number of tactical nuclear weapons to offset the military balance in its favor. Nuclear weapons have never been used on the battlefield. But most nations possess low-yield nuclear weapons and have plans to use them hoping that the conflict will not escalate to the use of strategic nuclear weapons. Today, most tactical or non-strategic nuclear weapons are in the arsenal of the Russian Federation and can be delivered by various systems, including ballistic and cruise missiles. The U.S. stockpile of non-strategic nuclear weapons is much smaller. Most of the weapons are delivered by aircraft, but recently, some submarine-launched ballistic missiles were added to the arsenal to increase its usability. In this fictional scenario, the Russian forces are being pushed back by Ukrainian forces supported by NATO weapon deliveries. The Russian leadership decides to use a single tactical nuclear weapon in order to demonstrate the readiness to escalate the conflict and to deter NATO countries from further weapon deliveries. Not being able to stop weapon deliveries, the Russian forces initiate nuclear strikes on several military targets inside Ukraine. NATO forces in the Black Sea respond to this attack by using conventional weapons and destroying a large number of Russian ships in the Black Sea and a number of military installations in Crimea. The Russian forces are not able to respond conventionally and resort to nuclear weapons, destroying a number of logistics hubs in Poland used to deliver Western military support to Ukraine. These hypothetical scenarios show how quickly unbalanced military situations can slip out of control and generate a large number of casualties. In the next video, we'll give you an overview of the most relevant delivery systems for nuclear weapons which are deployed today and can be used in the nuclear war simulator.